Dime, ¿cuántas veces me volviste de mente? Ahora sin ti estoy tan solo, no es fácil. Te quiero, baby, hasta que nazca el sol, hasta que nazca el sol. Dime, ¿cuántas veces me volviste de mente? Ahora sin ti estoy tan solo, no es fácil. Te quiero, baby, hasta que nazca el sol, hasta que nazca el sol. where the shops are on B. So this is the place, lovely ver, I must say. It's a big property. Now it has got electric gate for your car, which I will show you in a moment, which is just down there. So we're looking at a Sibilis, which is a three bedroom, two bathroom property. It's a big property, guys. So I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna show you around the garden first. I think it's always best to show the outside. So we're coming into the, the, I suppose really it's the front of the property really. So you've got a barbecue there. You've got the garden all done out nice. You've got the big pool. You've got the old dolphin ambling in the pool there. Now at night time, they've got lights that light up the pool, I believe. I have seen a photograph of that. You've got the, the shower. Always have a shower before you go in the pool. So I'll just give you another look at that. I mean, what, what an entrance, eh? So, just take you around the pool area. You've got some mature trees there. I don't want to say, you know, the oranges and lemons, but I would imagine that's probably what they are. I can't see anything in there at the moment. Oh, yeah, looks like oranges. And that looks like a lemon. Anyway, so we'll just do it, give you another view of the pool area again. So you've got a nice big area, you've got a nice seating area there. You've got your terrace there as well. This is the, um, where you would bring your car in. Well, I just thought we'd take it down here anyway. So you've got electric gate control to bring your car in off the road. You've got some palm trees here. And you've got an entrance into the basement there. Now you can see it's locked up. I haven't got the keys for that. But I've, I've been told it's a utility room. So check that out with the state agent about that. You've got another cupboard there for storage, no doubt. You've got some steps up for your oranges and lemons. Lots of steps. You can take your back round where the pool is. Look at that, it's a nice big pool apparently. You can see how long it is. So we're going into what I call a bit of a grand entrance. I don't know if I've got keys for this. I don't think I've got keys for this, but this is the, oh, sorry. Well, I haven't got keys for that part here, but this is your enclosed terrace. It's all glazed in. So in the winter time, you can be nice and warm. You've got a ceiling fan there to keep you cool in the summer. And obviously these windows open up anyway. So we're gonna go in through the door. We're gonna go through the kitchen door. I will take you up here at, at the end, up onto the sun terrace. I'm taking you through into the kitchen. So we go straight into the kitchen. It's always good to have a different entrance, I think. So what you're gonna get in this property 
it's going to come fully furnished except obviously for private uh, stuff you know their photographs and things like that but everything else what you see you'll be getting in the sale um, so you've got all your stuff here you've got a dishwasher you've got your electric oven and hob extractor you've got your sink what we'll show you next is the actual main door coming in so this is your main door that you would come in up that's where I showed you where the conservatory was so you would come in here you got a bit of like a little bit of a cloak room you got your own door for the kitchen part and if I walk down here this is your dining room area you can see how big it is I mean that's a what we got on this table we got six people so bring your family over that goes back into the kitchen there uh, and now I think which is the best part is the lounge these stabilities the, the main focus point as you can see is the fireplace now what I've done I've put no lighting on so what you see in lighting now they've got nets on their curtains there so you've got a wood burner down at the bottom And you've got views out looking out to the garden another good touch as well which i go on about a lot is the it's got central heating as well so another view looking back into the lounge now at the moment it's midday we're sort of coming to mid-september now temperatures are starting to cool down a little bit and then we come into the bedroom area could take you down to the first bathroom so you've got a walk-in shower there let's show you the I haven't put the light on So we go into the first bedroom or guest room. Now, because it's got nets up there, it's obviously going to be a little bit dark. I'm going to turn the lights on for you, just to give you another view of that with the lights on. You've got aircon machine up in the corner there. You've also got built-in wardrobe as well. You've got a radiator there to keep your dogs warm in the winter. Nice uh, mirror there. So we come out of this room back down the hallway and we've got another bedroom as you can see both bedrooms have got double beds in them you've got another aircon machine just up there <laughs> uh, window looking out you've got your radiator down there built-in wardrobe and what you can see on the wall over there is your controller for your aircon machine so we're looking back sort of down through to the front door entrance there and now we come into the master bedroom with its ensuite so you've got built-in wardrobes just here you've got another bathroom here you've got a full-size bath you've got the bidet radiator got some lights at the top there what i'll do just put on the lights a moment he says presses the wrong button got another shower unit there i'm most intrigued to know what this is <laughs> i don't know what that is but i don't want to mess about with it so there is the bath looks very nice very nice and tidy must say so we're coming back into the uh, master bedroom look at that nice center point there so you've got the aircon machine at the top and you've got radiators either side under the windows and if you're worrying about storage <laughs> you've got two built-in wardrobes there very nice very nicely done out I must say so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take you outside 
and show you up onto the roof. So this is the outside staircase, taking you up to the solarium. So there's another view looking up the road there. What you will notice, guys, when you're looking at these sibilises, or sibilises, I think it's what you call them, sibilis, you can notice this blue tile, which is going to be different to all the other villas that you notice around you. So here it is. You've got a big satellite dish there, so you can watch all the programmes from all around the world, especially if your nationality is different, you ain't got to worry about missing out on all your best TV programs. So I imagine that's your washing line. I'm just going to show you a view looking over over the top there. So that's looking down on the pool there. So that's a nice view. The pumps on at the moment. So, uh, right over that direction is the golf course. And as we look right round, so you've got some nice mountain views as well. So I hope you enjoyed the tour guys. So we were looking at a three bedroom, two bathroom, Sibyllis type filler on sector B. If you watched the beginning of the video, you noticed up the road, you could see the shops. So you ain't got far to go to the shops. It's got loads of little extras there. You've got nice wood burner. You've got central heating. You've got air com. You've got that big pool. Now, what I don't tell you now is all the information about the area of the airports. If you check out my video, guys, my playlist, everything there is about campus. So how to get the airport, about the bus, all the other things that come with it. But anything else, guys, because these properties they ain't hang about. Get in touch with Luster Soul. They can sort out an appointment for you to come around and view it. I do suggest that you do come out and view it because I don't think it's a good idea buying property off the, vid uh, off the internet. So come out, not only just check the property, but also check the area that you want to live in. So, I hope you enjoyed these types of videos as always, and uh, there'll be another one shortly.